the farm again today, me and Mark. Different field, field number two. Um, it's windy as hell. I'm in a little bit of a dip here, so it's probably a bit better. Hopefully the wind shouldn't travel too much on the sound. Um, on the first little find, and that is, it's a pound. Well, as Mr. Magpie would say, it's a nugget. But it's an old, old one. It was quite deep, about six, eight inches, I guess, something like that. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, there we go. You can't see the full size of the field. You might have seen the tree line in the distance, I'm not sure. But this is probably the one field we're going to be in today. Uh, yeah, a little bit late today. A little late getting out. I heard a rumour that it was, there was fresh meat in the supermarket. It's crazy, you know what we're going through at the moment. Absolutely, it's like, uh, it's like it's unreal. Coronavirus. You know, hundreds of people are starting to die now from it. It's just kind of, you know, the poop is hitting the fans, they say. The shops are bare. I literally, I mean, there's no meat in the shops. You haven't seen a tin in the shop in a week. Seems to be the only ones that are getting anything are the people that, uh, they're queuing up first thing in the morning. Obviously, I can't do it, and Mrs. can't do it, we're both at work. So by the time we come home from work, there's nothing left. Did I make the wrong move and not hoarding like everyone else has done? That's the thing. It seems like I did. It seems like it's going to be in for a long run. Anyway, enough of grumbling over, over not getting my shopping. <laughs> Let's get back to Metal Tech Tank, because we're going to find some good stuff today. All right, see you in a bit. There we go. Nice big signal, 2021. I think that's like a 20 cow in it by looks of it. Something like that. There's Mark, he's having a dig over there. He's on a 15. I hope the wind's not making too much effect on here. Right, let's have a look. I think I can see our target already. And that is awesome. I love them. Of uh, no, like 20 cow. I like that. Nice bit of military. A bit of the history that's behind that. Second World War. Probably off an aircraft. A little dog fight overhead. Awesome. Let's give you a little show what we're digging in. It's um, kind of dry stubble. I don't know it's corn or something, rather. Some places it's kind of hard to swing the coil through. Still a bit windy. All right, let's carry on. All right, take it out of the hole, guys. Let's have a look. Sorry about the wind. It's thin. It's green. So it's not hammy. It's perfectly round, so it's probably an old half penny, and that's too far gone. Get anything off that? Oh. Yeah, it's too far gone. Oop. Butter fingers. Right, so there's still stuff here. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, let's carry on. <laughs> Guys, well, you just saw a little clip, and that's what we pulled out. How awesome is that? Absolutely awesome. Um, they call it a spectacle buckle, I think. One press, press for that. That's my first complete one, actually. So yeah, that's a bucket lister. Woohoo! Awesome. And what a day! Apart from the wind, it's a lovely day, isn't it? Look at that sunshine. Sun's out. I'm actually a bit warm. I've got to keep my waterproof jacket on because it's a bit windy. But yeah, absolutely awesome. Right, Mark is still over by the entrance. He must be getting a lot of signals. He, he doesn't like missing anything in. He's going to dig everyone. But yeah, I'm well impressed with that. Well awesome. All right, let's carry on. 
and a little padlock little baby one got the wheels on it not worth doing here uh, it's about lunch time almost so I guess I'll probably meet up with Mark shortly and go have a bit of spot lunch right right that hole there pretty damn deep that's a 50p unbelievable that look at the deep depth it's got to be at least eight inches right down there in the corner <laughs> 50p coin definitely 50 no mistake in that shape is there all right let's carry on just will come up that looks like a hammer to me oh yeah it's the long chest Never seen it as a shirt, I want Mark to see what it looks like. It's natural state, so to speak. It's a little rip in it, but I can fix that. Oh yeah, do the hammy dance. <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit. In fact, that is Mark, he's coming over now. <laughs> We're going to have a spot of lunch anyway. 